All right, hi, I'm Michael. I'm Nash. And we are back with a brand new game for you. This game is called Chocolate Chip Cookies. Now, to play this game, you just need a regular dice, six-sided dice, and each player needs their own piece of paper <coughs> to something to write with. Now, on the piece of paper, you're going to have a game board, and the game board looks like this. So the game board has five cookies in the top line, four cookies in the second line, three, two, and one. It'll now, the game's called Chocolate Chip Cookies. At the moment, these are plain cookies. Now, what's the aim, Nash? How do you win the game? To get the most chocolate chips. To get the most chocolate chips. Now, the way you get chocolate chips is you're gonna roll the dice, and on your turn, whatever number you roll, you fill in that many chocolate chips on an entire row of cookies. So, probably best to show this with an example. Nash, do you wanna go first? Yeah. All right. So, Nash has got two. Now, where are you going to put it, Nash? Hmm, here or here. I'll put it here. So do the first cookie and stop. Now, because he's put two chocolate chips there, that means that he's also going to put two chocolate chips there. So the entire row gets two chocolate chips. All right, my turn. Five. Okay, I'm going to do the second top row. All right, Nashi, your turn. Six. Now that's an easy decision, isn't it, yeah. Nash? You don't really need to think about that one. Obviously, six is going to go in the top. Three again. Um, I'll go here. Now you'll notice I was looking at Nash's board to help me decide where to put my ones. All right, your turn, Nash. Four. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, leaving that one open, risk taker. Okay, my turn. Four. So I'm going to have to leave that top one open. Yeah. If I put that in the top, I'm basically going to lose. Yeah, I'm going to go here. All right, your turn, Nash. That worked out okay for you. All right, and my turn. All right, now, at the end of the game, a really good idea is to ask the players to do some estimating. So Nash, I want you to just look at the boards. We're not trying to work out the exact answer. I just want you to tell me estimating, who do you think's got more chocolate chips? Me. And why do you think that? I agree with you, by the way. Why do you think that? Because that's the sun. Your one's bigger, and then my one's bigger, your one's bigger, but then this is the best you can get. Yeah, and your top is a fair bit bigger than like yeah. six. You've got four. I think you're going to win. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work out the exact totals. So I'm going to work out my total using a combination of multiplying and then adding. So five twos are ten, uh, four fives are twenty, three threes are nine, two threes are six, one four is four. And then what we'd be asking you to do is to be looking for friendly numbers. So we don't always have to start up by adding the two largest numbers, like four and six are 10, 10 and 10 are 20, double 20 is 40. So my total is 49. So Nash, I want you to do the same thing. So multiplying first, and then go back and add them up in whatever you think's the best order. 30? Yeah. 16? Twelve, four, four. Now, what do you reckon is the best order for adding these up in? Four plus four is eight. Eight plus eight is eight plus twelve is twenty. Yep. Now, what would the twenty go nicely with now? Thirty. Yep. Fifty. Sixty-six. So, put a total of sixty-six there. A couple of things to note: um, if you want to vary it. 
You can obviously use different dice. So the larger the dice, the harder the multiplying will be. And there's also no reason why you have to have five, four, three, two, one. You can change the number of cookies as the starting point. So lots of ways that you can vary it. That's chocolate chip cookies. Uh, we hope you love playing it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.